Hey, welcome back you guys uh, to another episode of Halipoda. In this episode, I want to share with you something I've been working on and I uh, kind of thought of while well, sitting in the bathtub where I come up with all my great ideas. <laughs> and well, it, it's something that is possibly going to change the way you'll set up your antenna or if someone who's on a budget wants to get on the air and not spend a whole whack of cash and maybe want to build something too. Uh, it's, it's a partial build. I mean, you could buy all this stuff too, but if you want to be cheap like me, you know, build it yourself. So the whole concept in putting this video, video together is, um, I, I got a whole collection of hamsticks. I got eight or nine of them. Most bands, I think I'm missing 30 meters, but, um, I have all the hamsticks and, and I put them all in a, in a, in a container. Uh, I have another video about it with all those bacon sticks. I like to call them. And I always thought, you know, they're sometimes they're hard to get. They, they're not in stock or you don't want to spend so much on uh, shipping really kicks our butt up here in Canada to get a hamstick shipped up here. Uh, you're paying just about as much for shipping just for the, for the darn antenna. So, um, I'm fortunate I have all my hamsticks already, but I thought, you know what? What if you wanted just to buy one? And what hamstick would you buy? Well, of course, everyone, the go-to hamstick is a 20 meter. Um, that's, that's, that's a necessity. Um, and then, you know, whatever ones you want to get other than that, I mean, go, if you go down to the lower bands, they're a lot harder to tune and they're, they have a smaller bandwidth, you could say, you know, I'm going to bring it up in another video. We're not going to go there right now. But the whole idea of this video is to show you how we're going to take one hamstick and it's going to be the 10 meter hamstick that we're going to use in this case. So the 10 meter hamstick right over here, two parts to it. I color, color code them all and so I know what's what. We're going to take the 10 meter hamstick we're going to see if we can make other bands work on it. Now, you could say we could adjust the whip length and all that, but in the hamstick, what makes them so unique is behind this fiber or on top of this fiberglass rod is a wire. And that's essentially your loading coil. And you'll see the 10 meter hamstick doesn't really have much wire on it. It's really stretched out uh, compared to an 81 where you would see a, a very tight wound of wires, which is essentially your loading coil. So we'll bring it back. I'm sitting in the bathtub. Hey, what can we do with this hamstick? How can we make it work? I already had something in my antenna bag. And what it is, is my homemade loading coil, uh, fully adjustable. Now I'm not going to go into details on building this right now. Of course, you guys, I'm going to show you how I build it. Of course, I've got plans off the internet and stuff, but I, I am going to show you how I built this. That's going to be another video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out to Apoda Park. And we're going to put it on. We're going to put the 10 meter hamstick on it. And we're going to change the properties of this loading coil. We're going to see if we can make other bands work on this. That's kind of a crazy idea. And I mean, I didn't even, honestly, I didn't do any research on the mathematics of uh, the physics of this coil, what inductance and all that kind of stuff. You know, I don't really care about that. I'm a real practical guy. I want to get out there and I want to see if it works. Put my hands on it. What is the radio going to be? Is the radio going to be happy? Are we, are we going to have a radio at the end of the day? Or are we going to have a, a we're going to have a, a boat anchor, bricket, whatever you want to call it, basically a broken radio. And really important if you want to play radio is you want to talk to somebody. I mean, you could just go into the park and talk to yourself if you want. You don't have to bring this stuff. We're not going to do that. We're going to talk to people and they're going to talk back, hopefully. We're going to hear them. They're going to, they're, we're going to make some contacts. So coming up, we're going to pack all this stuff up. I'm going to bring my 10 meter hamstick for comparison. Fallback, I'm going to bring my 15. And gonna bring my 12. We're gonna see if we can make a three bander antenna out of one. So let's go to the park and like this we'll be at a park. 
All right, guys, um, I'm gonna show you what the setup is on the 15 meter configuration. Reference point is right there is where I'm clipped onto. Of course, 10 meter hamstick with the adjustable loading coil. CQ, CQ, test, test, one, two, three, CQ, CQ. This is VA5 MED, test, test. So we're at a happy below 1.2 to one, or two to one, sorry. So we're gonna try doing a pull to activation. Right, guys, we're back. Uh, we got the adjustable loading coil uh, on the back of the Jeep, on the spring mount with a 10 meter ham stick on top of that. So. I got it tuned up to below a two to one SWR and I just spotted myself. So let's start calling CQ Pulled and see if we get any, any action today. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Victor Alpha 5. Mike Uniform Delta, Pulled Apart Victor Echo 6061 and 2865. All right, got it. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just found uh, I could get 12 within under 3 to 1, 2.5, not the best, but didn't want to spend too much time tuning. So we'll see if we could get anybody on 12 meters. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Victor Alpha 5. Mike Uniform Delta, QRZ. Yeah, QSL, your antenna's working there, Wes. Got you here, it says 5.5, great audio though, into Alfa Romeo. I think the bands are just a little rough today. They're showing you kind of poor at this, uh, in the upper upper band, so. Decided to test an upper damp band antenna and it's not working for the bandwise, but let's try this. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Victor Alpha 5. Mike Uniform Delta, Polar Park, Victor Echo, 6061 and 2865. QRZ. Roger, roger, I have you 5-5 five, five as well here in the Missouri today. All oh, right, that's... I always appreciate you being out there, buddy. <laughs> Copy the... All right, you know what? You came up as a five, 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 five. How copy? Uh, five, five, fifty-five, Ohio. Hmm. Are you still? Uh, that's great. You are five, seven, five, seven, seven, oh. That was number ten. Did ten. Ten in the log with with uh, a ten meter antenna that we we're able to operate on on twelve. I guess we're on right now fifteen, and of course you'll do ten without the without the loading coil. So so far we've got three bands on it. I couldn't get seventeen pulled in right now. Uh, I may out, get out there and try it again. Let's call CQ a few more times. CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is Victor Alpha Five. Mike Uniform Delta. QRZ. All right, Keel Echo 5, Yankee Yankee Charlie. Good to get you on the second band, Chris. How is my copy? Uh, five, five on this one. Not much, much better. Over. Copy the... All right, we took off the loading coil now, and um, it's going to be now just, uh, just a hamstick right by itself. Roger, Roger. Thank you. I also have you 5-3, 5-3, into Papa Alpha. Copy the... Thanks for... All right, Peter, I got you. About a 5.5 five Saskatchewan. Back to you. Hey, thanks a lot for the 5.5. Five. Uh, 73s, have a great day. CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is Victor Alpha 5. Mike Uniform Delta, QRZ. 
Kilo Charlie One, Quebec. Z sorry, Kilo Charlie One, Quebec Delta Zulu. QSL, James. Copy the five eight Rhode Island. That is uh, beautiful, man. Thank you very much. I got you. All right, there we go. A little pile up in there. Let's start with the Kilo Alpha Eight, please. All right, Victor Kilo Four, November Hotel, QSL. Copy the. Roger, Roger. Yeah, the bands just woke up in the last two minutes, man. You got a 5-9 here. 5-9 copy. Great signal. Roger, Roger. Well, I appreciate it. Hope you have a great one, and it's great to hear you again, my friend. 73. <laughs> Kilo Bravo 4, Tango Victor. Holy cow, I had to turn my volume down. 5-9. Hey, Roger, Roger. I got you. 5-5. Five, five, 55 into East Tennessee. QSL West. QSL on the 5-5. Five, five. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, great signal. I think the band just woke up this second. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, it's been, been a little squirrely. Got Martians running in and out of here every now and then. But uh, good to hear you on here there, and thanks for picking me up. 73 is man. Have fun. You bet. 73 is man. See you again on the next park. This is VA5 MED at Polo Park, Victor Echo, 6061 and 2865. QRZ. Copy the five nine. Thanks for hunting. I I'm just trying to experiment here for one of my videos, and it seems to be working pretty darn good. Yes, yeah, good outstanding job. Uh, seven three, great to hear you today. You bet. Thanks. Hello, American Charlie. I've got you about a four by one, four by one in Gulf Alpha, Georgia. Cute. Okay, the experiment is done. I was out at the park. I successfully activated it. I uh, got enough contacts using an adjustable loading coil with a 10 meter ham stick on other than 10 meters. So I was able to activate on 15 meters and on 12 with a uh, good enough SWR uh, so I wouldn't blow up my radio as always important in my activations. And how I did it is of course using this home built loading coil simply clipping on the clip to where i want to to get the proper swr well that's all it's going to take you guys i'm going to show you in one of my next videos how i built this um there's plenty of plans on the internet uh, i want to make slightly a different coil this one's a little long and janky um i was trying to get 160 meters off of it. I, I ran out of room. I actually ran out of wire as you can see at the top here So I couldn't get it to work, but you know what we're gonna build one of these and we're gonna try it on a couple other hamsticks Maybe we'll try 10. Uh, no, sorry a 20 meter hamstick Maybe we'll get some other bands out of that one and uh, we could get into the 40 60 30 off of a 20 meter You know, that's a good good next video or an experiment. So stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching and uh, hey as always see you hams on the band 73s